Hello ninjas, welcome to my glass of happiness and it's still a pleasure posting these things and I see you watch them and munch at them. You really misread me to continuing to talk but thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe because I want my family to grow bigger and bigger on YouTube. Oh by the way, I'll be making 1 million subscribers, I believe by the end of 2020. I've just pushed it, I've pushed the target a little bit further. So by 2020, I believe we shall be a family of 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Now, today, I happen, recently I revamped my home, you know, I painted a few places, made a campfire, threw around so many colors. I love plants. Those of you who follow me understand I'm crazy about plants. So I have created for myself several sets I can shoot these glasses of happiness and I can't wait. That's why I'm bombarding you with one pawn, another pawn, another in this festive season. So here I am and thank you so much for being with me once again and I don't take it for granted. Today I wanted to talk about specifically about finding the lesson in your suffering or understanding the courage you get from the situations that make you suffer or pausing and choosing to pick what you learn from all the things that have hurt you in your past and if you if you i know when you think back right now and you think the things that have happened to you and broken your heart i'll give a few examples i personally i had about i had several miscarriages when i was trying seriously trying to get pregnant and you know sometimes something horrible really happens to you and the only thing you see is the horrible thing that happened to you but sometimes i wish we could step out of the situations we are in within that time when things are so hard and you just have an out of body experience and look at yourself and see the lessons you draw from what you're going through i think it would make life easier eh? you know like when you think back now in high school the things that happened to you the things that didn't turn out right you were hurt then but look at yourself right now that just when you look at yourself going through a trying time and you look back and you've gone through it there's nothing that, but lessons and they always say that tomorrow has to come i love drawing examples from my own personal experiences so that you don't think this ninja is eh, is giving us far-fetched advice i'll probably maybe let me relate it to business it's easier for me to explain it Sometimes there's a deal you badly want. You really badly want to close it. You can only think the things you have done to achieve this deal to be closed. And then it does not work out and you only remember it as a traumatizing experience. Instead of just pausing and you say, first wait, so I didn't get this deal. But what did I learn? What did I do wrong? You just focus on what did I do wrong? Understand what you did wrong and pick the lesson, grasp it so that if that deal ever passes through your nose, it regrets because you'll be ready for it. I think really if we decide and say, okay, this has happened, but what lesson do I draw in it? You know, the universe has a way of communicating. I I say stuff like the universe because sometimes when I'm talking about God, and because I believe <laughs> my things always happen through the Holy Spirit, guided by Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God who is always my guide. So I'm a Christian and I love referring to a higher power as God. But sometimes the universe actually does talk to us. Sometimes we dive so deep into the problem and we forget to look at the lessons that we can learn within that same problem. When someone is busy lying to you, have you ever had a conversation with someone and they are going on and on, they're even putting actions, they're even picking them, but you know it's a lie. Like you saw someone yesterday they were in Kampala but they're telling you a story of how they are tripping Fort Poto was. And for a moment you're not even you have an out of space experience of why is this person lying to me? How should I let them go? now you see that feeling that you're in? I would like to be in that same feeling when you find yourself being abused or scolded by an a, someone in a senior position telling you what you shouldn't have done you know instead of just looking at their lips moving and you're like oh please talk and be done pause within that moment and actually see the lesson you're learning from it there's always a lesson and i've just come to realize that when things are really hard really really hard there's no way there's no lesson it's like the lesson is sharper the harder the experience you're going through the better the, the lesson you're going to learn because you shall never go through that thing again the thing about 
the problems we go through that are meant to teach us lessons, they will never really go away till you learn that lesson. Like you go through something and you're like, why does this always have to happen? It's just the universe telling you that you haven't learned the lesson you're supposed to learn from that problem. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I? you haven't learned? So you'll keep going through the same problem till you have learned the lesson that very particular problem is supposed to teach you. So ch just put it upon yourself. You'll go through and you see, the lessons you learned from something, make sure it never happens again. So when something keeps happening, pause. Just get its lesson. Maybe when you learn its lesson, then you'll move on to something, to greater problems. That's why I tell you, the more money you have, the more problems you have. The more success you have, the sharper the problems you get. That's why a con man will come from all ends because there's something to steal. So I'm telling you, when you're going through problems, before you focus and dive deeply and be like, God, am I being bewitched? Pause and see the lesson you have to learn from it. Then I think once you've exhausted it and you've learned the lesson you have to learn, then life does move on. And find yourself with newer challenges, with fresher challenges. And there's this common thing, I think I've said it too, but my girlfriend said it a lot. I don't know why I just always end up with these same guys. And then by the time you ask your pretty girlfriend, what guys are you into? She's telling you, I like a guy who wears like a leather jacket, always has his helmet, uh, he's describing a biker, then leaves a biker, says, I like bad boys. I like a guy who can hold a cue and shoot pull. Like the guy they are describing for you is a bad guy. So you don't know how this person is going to keep dating the same kind of people, bad guys, and expecting to have good experiences <laughs> with bad guys. So really, you'll keep getting the same results. You know, at least here, you guys, first of all, pause. Let, Whenever I say pause, my editor is about to pause. No, I mean you guys who are watching, pause that thought. Have you noticed that my hair keeps touching the lips? These things of makeup. <laughs> if I had maybe two, two, I would be going on smoothly and not being interrupted by these things. But this is the first time I'm putting this hair piece. And I can tell you for sure, I feel like Cleopatra of the Bible. <laughs> of the Bible. And it keeps distracting me. See, I'm distracted. Sorry. I was still focused on you. Who keeps doing the same mistake, refusing to learn a lesson, and you wonder why you're going through the same experience. You keep dating the same bad guys, getting hurt, and you wonder why you're being hurt. Bad guy? Bad experience. So change your preferences, you know? Change a few things. They say only a fool keeps doing the same stuff, expecting different results. So change. And then, if you go through the same experience, I've told you that what? It's because you have not learned the lesson that you're supposed to learn. Learn it and see. The universe will push you forward to other things because you're done with that part. And in conclusion, problems are here to stay. They are part of life. No one told you that life would be smooth. So the problems will be there. Now, instead of complaining about them, pause and actually choose what lesson are you choosing to learn from that problem that has happened. What are you learning? Don't, don't dwell so much on the pain, yeah? Focus on what lessons, the small lessons you might pick. And you'll see. Once you're done learning, you move on. So guys, to learning this festive season, before you start saying, every time I go home, I end up quarreling with me. I, I never live on good terms with my mother. I never live on good terms with my sister. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Pause. Pause and understand. What are, you, what are you supposed to learn from that relationship? Are you supposed to learn how to be patient? Are you supposed to learn to respect your elders? Is it just that you've never truly learned how to hold your tongue and not just speak things? You know what I'm talking because I know I need to tell this advice to myself. I speak things without thinking sometimes. So ninjas, here I am again with a simple episode trying to learn with you. If you have any questions, please ask them. If you have something you want to add and you caught a thought and said, yeah, this is thing I went through and, and this is what I learned. Personally, these days, I actually pick a list of nearly everything. To the extent that if I am walking in the darkness and I bang a wall and hit it, I don't appreciate bats because they would not have knocked that wall. Hmm? For them, they see in the dark. So there's something to learn, guys. Focus on the lessons and the pain won't be too much. Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. I love you. Bye. Let's take a walk down this bumpy road Just relax and let it breathe Believe me now, just take a breath and